Hello everyone, welcome to Design Hub. In Design Hub, we provide quality technical content related to the design industry using practical concepts. So, to upgrade yourself please subscribe to the channel and press the notification bell to get notified every time we drop a new video. In today's video, we will learn about the types of pressure a pressure vessel confronts throughout its lifetime, which are as follows. Operating pressure. Design pressure. MAWP, maximum allowable working pressure. And hydrotest pressure. We will cover the first two in this video. First, we will see what is operating pressure. Operating pressure is the pressure at which, a process plant or any equipment will work. The design engineer, will select the safe operating pressure for the equipment, according to the type of process required, in the process plant. It is at the top of the pressure vessel. Working pressure is the amount of internal force, exerted on the wall of the type of pressure vessel under normal conditions. When the system reaches operating pressure, it usually runs at optimal performance. Operating pressure is 90% of the design pressure. Because operating pressure is determined by the type of process required in the plant. Failure to maintain operating pressure can cause the entire pressurization system to fail. You can see the figure, of a pressure vessel, in working condition. If a designer is determining the operating pressure. Certain conditions apply to the operating pressure, which is mandatory to follow. The operating pressure will always be less than the maximum allowable working pressure and, design pressure. Also, the set pressure of any relieving device, will be more than the operating pressure. Now, let us see what is design pressure and how engineers, determine it through the application of some margins. In accordance with UG21, each part of the pressure vessel shall be designed, to have the worst condition of equivalent pressure and temperature expected in normal operation. Design pressure is the maximum pressure a system faces, which is imposed on internals and externals of equipment and is used to determine the minimum required thickness. The minimum design pressure is 15 psi. The design pressure of a container, or a device is determined by its maximum working pressure. After getting the operating pressure, designers add some suitable margins to get the design pressure. Margins can be added to a static head of operating liquid, plus, additional pressure which will be more than the operating pressure either 10% of operating pressure, or, we take 30 psi more than the operating pressure. Whichever is the greatest satisfies the requirement. The maximum working pressure generally increases with some margin to accommodate the expected pressure surge. These margins are necessary to prevent the frequent and unnecessary opening of the safety relief valve that may occur during normal variations in operating pressure. Generally, Code stamping is not required, if we get a smaller design pressure. Code stamp means the permanent ASME identifying stamping, applied to the boilers and pressure vessels. Which indicates that the vessel has been constructed following the rules of the board. The applicable section of the ASME BPVC and has been approved by an authorized inspector. For negative gauge operating pressure, a pressure vessel is designed for full vacuum. Full vacuum is the state in which the internal pressure vessel is a vacuum, absolute pressure equals 0 kPa, and external pressure is equal to 100 kPa, which is approximately the atmospheric pressure. Design pressure is a condition of temperature and pressure, that coincides under normal conditions. The maximum permissible working pressure, is on the top of the equipment under normal operating conditions. The design pressure should be mentioned at a design temperature as a pair. The design pressure of this vessel is, 1440 psi at a design temperature of 80 degrees celsius, and, 1440 psi at 80 degrees celsius. The BPV code, section 8, division 1 doesn't say much about how to set the design pressure. Design pressure calculation depends on, the amount of water, steam, or any liquid in a vessel. A pressure vessel shall be designed, for at least the most severe condition of coincident pressure, and, temperature expected in normal operation. Now, we will see how the design pressure is determined.
the pressure vessel designer, must determine the minimum thickness, that is required for each vessel section. The thickness calculation must be made for both the design and hydrostatic test cases. The minimum specified wall thickness is selected, based on the more severe condition. For example, the determination of the minimum specified wall thickness, of each section of a tall vertical tower must include, consideration of the design pressure at the top of the vessel, plus the hydrostatic head that is applicable at the level being designed. Several wall thickness plates are commonly used in a tall liquid-filled tower. Thicker plates are used in the lower sections, because, of higher hydrostatic pressure, and, higher bending moments caused by wind. At last, I will show you the pressure level of different types of pressure, that a vessel confronts. Operating pressure is 90% of the design pressure. And, maximum allowable working pressure is 130% of the design pressure or it can be equal to the design pressure. We will learn other two types of pressure namely. Maximum allowable working pressure and hydrotest pressure in the next video. Thanks for watching. Until then learn and grow.